Hey, good Thursday morning. Today I want to talk to you about addiction. Yeah, addiction and substance use disorders. I grew up in Mineral County, West Virginia. I had family members who uh, struggled with addiction. And uh, over the last 30 years, I've worked with um, the Attorney General's office. I've been involved with uh, combating addiction with grace initiatives throughout West Virginia. And I see it all the time. Our state, our country is being decimated because of drug addiction. And today I just want to talk to those who are struggling with it. You know, you need to reach out for help. You need to do what you can to make sure that you're safe and set boundaries. They will promise you that they're not using. They will promise you they're going to clean up. They will promise you that this is the last time. And it's important that you set boundaries, that you set boundaries. Don't just give them money because you know that the money is going to be used for something that shouldn't be used for. So by setting boundaries, make a clear and strong sense of your identity, your feelings, and your needs. Don't tiptoe, even though that's what we want to do. We try to tiptoe around the situation. But those boundaries are important. Protect your space physically and emotionally. And stop being taken advantage of. Because that is something that those who use, that's what they're good at. They will take advantage of everyone. Parents, grandparents, They'll take advantage of brothers, sisters. They'll take advantage of anyone and everyone that they can and uh, clarify what's acceptable and what is not. We can do our best to overcome and help family members overcome addiction. No one deserves abusive treatment. No one deserves to be betrayed or lied to. And everyone deserves to be treated with dignity and respect and when you live in a home that has substance use disorder you don't know what normal is anymore and it seems like every day is a day filled with stress every day is a day filled with worry and the holidays can make all all of those emotions even worse and my prayer for you today is that if you are living with someone who is struggling with substance use disorder, my prayer is that you keep yourself safe, that you reach out to professionals in your community and do what you can to keep your children safe. Do what you can to provide for them food and shelter, warmth, love our world is struggling right now and as god's people we need we need to be a resource for everyone in our communities struggling with substance use disorders and i pray that as christmas approaches that the gift of christ will deliver not only the individual from addiction and substance use disorder, but I pray that the gift of Christ will bring freedom, hope, love, and mercy into your home this Christmas season. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia, wherever you are. I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everyone. And uh, God bless you, and I pray that Christmas is a time of peace in your home. God bless you.